this is my 2008 Mustang but more than that I kind of want to talk with you guys about something if you don't mind So, you guys are familiar with my Mustang, you've probably followed my build, if you haven't, oh man it's cold in here, if you haven't followed my build, uh, go back and check um, out past videos, but when I first got a Mustang, you know, I thought about a V8, I've had plenty of V8s, and you know, people said, V6, you can only get so much from a V6. You know there's just some things you can't do they say you know it's not worth putting money into a v6 they say it's not worth really just buy a v6 get good gas mileage have cheaper insurance and beat the crap out of it and that's basically all a v6 Mustang is good for I thought to myself you know okay I'm a Chevy guy I came from having two different Trans Ams two different Camaros um, Lots of square body pickup trucks. I've had motors all the way up to 454 big blocks, you know. I thought I want to do something different. So I created this Mustang. I created just a V6. Sorry guys, I'm actually shivering. <laughs> I think it's like 20 degrees in here. Um, oh my word! Woo! Anyway, um, so I created this Mustang and you know it's a work in progress and you know when I told people about what I want to do they're like oh you are such a fool what a fool well if you're gonna put if you're gonna do the work then you might as well just V8 swap it and I'm like I don't want a V8 swap you know if I wanted a V8 I would have bought a V8 Mustang so through every progress, you know, I've had people say, oh, no, don't do that, you know, don't spend money, don't do this, don't do that, and, you know, it, I went and did it, and they're like, oh, man, it looks so cool, or, oh, man, it sounds awesome. Um, the biggest thing, when I first got it, someone, um, when I talked about exhaust, like, don't waste money doing exhaust, it's going to sound like a, a Honda four-banger, and it's, no offense, guys, and it's just going to be horrible. Now, now, the funny thing is, if you don't hear my, if you don't see my car or know to V6, I have, people have mistaken it for a V8, um, which is funny. Uh, if you guys have seen my exhaust videos, hopefully I have a link in the description where you can go check it out. Um, but anyway, I got this car to sound really, really good. Um, I'm not going to do any revving yet because we're letting it warm up um, every week. I don't drive it on the roads during the winter time um, and it's really cold today for some reason. Oh my word. Um, I can't wait for midsummer. I love the heat. Anyway, people said don't do, don't put exhaust. Well I did it my own way. I did custom exhaust. Links are in the description with everything I've used and mods and stuff so if you want to check them out. But I did my own exhaust and I'm doing everything my own way and now people are like oh I mean, it sounds good you know this and that so now my new thing is oh don't just put on a blower put on a supercharger there's no need to build the motor out or anything you know it's not worth it blah 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 I I originally I created something unique how many Mustangs do you see that look like this Mustang hopefully I got some photos up to show you guys but 
how many Mustangs look like this and how many sound like this you know I mean it sounds it's it's a great great sound it it's an overall cool look um, that you don't see from your typical 05 to 09 Mustang so with that being said I've been looking into stuff and talking and people saying you know you cannot find a cam that gives you that lumpy sound like the brum 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 they say just V8 swap just V8 swap don't even look don't even bother so I've been looking and looking and looking I'm not doing a cam or any motor work or anything else like that um, until way down the road um, there's my priorities there's other things that you know are more important than this little Mustang man it sounds good oh my word anyway so I want to get a cam I want to build out the motor I want to get that rumble sound and everybody says you can't do it everybody I have asked said you can't do it sure you can do a cam swap but it's a re it's a re um what was it re remade cam it's it's a stock cam just redone or something like that they say to find somebody to make a custom can it's just almost impossible nobody's gonna do it so that is gonna be a future goal of mine to find a cam that gives you that sound um, but it's just through the whole process you know people have their opinion people like to say oh you can't do this and blah 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 but you know what I think in life be unique create a your own custom sound, your own custom look. Just do what makes you happy. And I think there's always those people in the world that say, you know what, this is impossible or that's impossible. But maybe it takes you to make the impossible possible. Think about it. At one point, it was impossible to go to space. Okay, well the impossible came possible. At one point, it was impossible to see what Mars looked like. Well, people have made the impossible possible. So, impossible is really not impossible. And I know, I know, to say this, some of you guys, and I'm not throwing this on you, but all things are possible through Jesus Christ. And I truly believe that. And you know what? I think anything is possible. You can do anything, guys. Anything you set your mind to it. If you want to get a V6 Camaro, Camaro, yeah, Camaro, man, I'm so used to Camaro. So if you, you want to get a V6 Mustang to sound nasty, to sound beautiful, whatever, don't stop searching until you ultimately accomplish what you set out to search, when you set out to look for. If you want a 500 horsepower V6 Mustang, go for it. You find it. You do what it takes to get there. Work hard, but keep your priorities straight, though family comes first so just always remember that your spouse comes first okay always remember that like this car this car I love it I am a car I don't know if you want to say nut I don't I love cars cars make me super happy uh, but some people secretly you know would rather live with their car than live with their wives and I think that's completely wrong I think you need to just like you're working on your car you need to work on your marriage to make your marriage last but anyway that's not what this video is about this video is about all the naysayers you know what they say you can't do this or you can't do that and you know what's sad most of this comes from all Mustang owners they like what is wrong with the Mustang community the Mustang community is so messed up. And coming from Camaro and Firebird community, what is what's going on, Mustang owners? Like, why do you bash like GT owners bash V6s left and right? Like, um, what the stock GT has 300 horsepowers from 2008 versus the V6 210. So 300. Okay, wow, 90 horsepower difference. But the GT guys think that they are the boss. They are the bomb. You know, that 90 horsepower just sets them worlds apart. Not really, guys. You know, if someone has money, you can get a supercharger for a V6 for four to six grand and gain 100 to 130 horsepower depending on the supercharger. 
So right there, you're already over the GT. Now, of course, you could say, well, you had to spend six grand to get there versus, you know, a GT is only like $1,500 more than a V6. But anyway, I have no nothing against GT owners. I have nothing against V8 owners. I was a V8 owner most of my life. Um, I just think everybody should, you know, wait and see what happens. You know, I bet there are naysayers about Mozart. I bet you people have said, you know, this guy, he can't produce music and wait till he did. And now we know him. Um, just like Steve Jobs and all these other people, you know, Einstein, Einstein, what, he didn't talk till he was four or something? You know, people probably said, oh, this, this kid's, this kid's never going to amount to anything. It's the kind of concept of life. You know, there's always going to be those people that have something to say bad against you or against your car. But I think people, I think if you're creating something, do what makes you happy and show people that anything's possible. So that is my goal. That is the goal for this Mustang, is to create something that you, that's not like all the S197s, I think that's right, um, to create a Mustang that is not like all the other Mustangs out there. You know, I don't want another V6 Mustang, I don't want another um, 05 to 09 design Mustang, you know, it's a custom kind of thing and that's kind of how I, that's kind of how, who I am. Um, so yeah, you know, I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you follow this journey. This is going to be an awesome journey. Um, and hey, let's, let's, um, knock out the naysayers while we're at it. So, all right guys, thank you for watching. Shall we get one last rev? Um, I think it's warmed up pretty good. Oh, hear that exhaust. We're at 2,500 RPMs, 3,000, right? There's three. Mm. You know you're producing a little, little bit of horsepower when you rev your vehicle and it actually flexes. You know you got a little horsepower there. So, a couple mods done. Just a couple, you know, a little here and there. All right, guys. Thanks for chatting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And let's see where we can go together.